Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, well, uh, you can see behind me, we're getting uh, Mitchell's 39X back up to our shop from the paint shop and getting all the little pieces put on it. It's turned out pretty awesome. We got a lot to do yet to this truck. Brian Vaughn's coming. He's picking up the black and orange truck and we're gonna show you the uh, cool little upgrades we've done on it. And then uh, the Rethlishes are on their way and they're picking up Fred's truck behind me because they're heading down to 75 Chrome a day or two earlier than I'm gonna be heading there, but they're picking that truck up. We've got to still finish a few more lights on the trailer and a couple of things, but uh, they're heading to Florida and uh, we're just scrambling to get everything else done so I can go to Florida. So a uh, pretty fun video, follow along, and I think you guys will enjoy it. All right, we just rolled this thing out of the shop and it is ready to go back to work. Thought we'd make a quick video and kind of just show you the kind of the final result. It's a little dusty from sitting in the shop the last couple of days, but um, you know, we got the fenders on, all repainted. We actually made them one inch shorter from the ground. So Brian needed a little more ground clearance where he's going in and out for being loaded and stuff. And the fenders were kind of, uh, making it a little more tricky than he wanted them to be. Just uh, trying not to tear the front of them off. So we actually made all the fenders one inch shorter. And then we built another panel like we've done in the past for some other trucks to uh, go between the fenders here, painted orange, put our lights in there. It's a nice look to it. It finishes, finishes up the back really well. So now it kind of goes right along with the eye panel in the back here nice little added touch there but uh how many miles are on this thing now uh i think 26 five somewhere around there. 26 000. so she looks really good for 26 000 miles on it and staying clean i like it but yeah that's kind of that's what we've done in a nutshell did i do anything else like i'm trying to remember if I, we didn't do anything oh that's right totally forgot about that we also added the 12 gauge uh watermelon mirror light brackets and uh put a set of trucks lights on there pretty cool setup all right here is where we're at with mitchell's truck got the tanks on painted getting fenders on right now we still got to do the deck plate the chassis painted. We got fingerprint stuff all over, but you can see the flake. Things slick. So the whole chassis painted. We've been working all day, getting all this kind of put back together. We got three fenders on right now. We still got uh, this plate, which will go in between the fenders there. Right here. So we'll put those in. Um, well, basically, once we get that mounted up, then we'll drill our holes and. Uh, it'll be ready to go. We're actually fixing to do that right now. We're gonna mount it up there. So it's just good to go. And uh, get our other fender mounted. And then uh, fender's on, then we'll do the deck plate, and then we'll do the fifth wheel. So make it some decent headway at the moment. We got the fenders on. They're done. The deck plate's in. 
we've done a real poor job at filming anything we've been doing because we've just been, well, we're trying to get it done for 75 Chrome. So that's all there. Looked pretty nice. And uh, we were just discussing how strong JJ is. If you look at what he's doing right now, he's just holding the entire fifth wheel slide up by himself with his fingers from the top. I mean, like, would not want to arm wrestle this guy. Well. <laughs> no, we were actually discussing how much we want one of these. I wonder if we can get that put in the budget for the new shop, because. You might have to take a pay cut just so we can get it. I mean, I'll take a pay cut and get one. <laughs> Oh, uh, a dollar. <laughs> All right, let's do this. This thing's pretty cool. I don't have to hold on to it. This is like, this is the easiest way we've ever moved one of these. You know, the only thing that would make it better is if you could adjust the, the straps with the buttons so you could, so we could level it out. This thing's so cool. Oh. Go up a little bit more. Yeah. Feel safer about that. Getting closer. On a scale of one to ten, how much easier was that than using the forklift? <laughs> a ten. A ten? <laughs> this thing's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, so now we're just going to stick some bolts in it there. All right, we'll mark that on the to-do list. Overhead crane at the new shop. This thing's looking slick. She's a little dusty. She's been in the body shop all, yeah. all week, so. It looks nice. Though. Luke and they are driving her out. That frame looks like glass. This thing looks sharp. Yeah. I like the, the, the red fenders against the black frame. Yep. They really kind of, I guess, breaks it up. It looks really good. I can't wait to get the dust off this thing where we can actually. You can see it back here. You can see the, the legendary in it. Oh yeah. This thing's freaking turned out good. It did. So we got everything we can get done here at the paint shop. And um, now we're gonna run Mitchell's truck up to Crossville to our shop and finish everything else. So we've got, we've got to put the, the panel on that goes between the fenders, the eye panel on this thing, the wheel covers to go on it. We got 12 gauge uh, boxes to go on it. Um, we've got the shock box cover and we've got to plumb all the air lines and electric up in it. But uh, this thing's looking freaking awesome. You know, I'm plenty guilty of, of having to like I gotta have a colored frame, you know, let's say matching frame and everything. But just look at this thing when you stand back at it, and then the fenders back there. It just it does. It, it kind looks of burps a little bit old school towards you. Yeah, I like it. I mean, this is a freaking long truck. It's three hundred and thirty inches. That's plenty long. Wheelbase. That's longer than my trailers. <laughs> Not quite. Impulsive. Almost. But man, it looks great. So, uh, yeah, it's a little bit more left to do here. We'll get it to Crossville and uh, get started on this thing in the morning. I like it. Are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. All right, let's do you it. You ready to go, Luke? Yeah. Hey, are you going to drive back? Yeah. Okay. We put a... Um, wait, wait, he's got a learner's permit. Yeah, he's got a learner's permit. If we so put I a sign... three Coors Lights so far this morning, so he should, should be, be good. It should be fine. Yeah. And then we'll just put a, we'll put a sticker in the window that says, I identify as a pickup truck. 
And and then I mean everything we all should know is if you identify as it, it's good. It's yeah, fine. I mean basically. So be putting that thing on a beer can. We was the. <laughs> I just got that. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, we're kidding. Luke's not driving that back. No. That would be illegal. But uh, he didn't drink Coors Light this morning. And he didn't drink. It. It's no. all a joke. <laughs> it's all a joke. But uh, yeah, we're gonna drive this thing to Crossville, and uh, and then we got before we leave to go to Florida, we still got to finish up the lights on the trailer for y'all's truck. Yeah, we got to go and finish up Freddie's truck. And then uh, and then we'll then we're gonna go to Florida. Yeah. All right, we got this thing back to the shop. So. Uh, we got a little bit to do yet, but uh, old truck made it here, no problems whatsoever, which is good. And uh, now, tomorrow we can start uh, getting the rest of the, uh, the truck together. But until then, we've got a really good job for Luke to do, which is we're putting all the amber lights in the trailer We've already swapped. So when we got the trailer back from Mid-America, it had all clears on it, which do not match the truck because we put all color lenses on the truck. And so uh, we've got most of them swapped out. We got the reds and everything in there. The only thing we lack is to do the amber lights, which um, we still got to run it. I got to get some other stuff taken care of for a little bit. So while we're gone, me and Bill, we're going to leave... Uh, Gonna leave the shop to Luke all by himself. Okay. You'll be okay in here by yourself, won't you? I hope as long as you leave the lights on. Okay, yeah. I'm scared of the dark. So, uh, <laughs> scared of the dark. We have a new feature. We do? Yeah. <laughs> Semi casual does. It's uh it's a hold your phone to the frame feature. I thought oh. of this as we were coming over. <laughs> That's guaranteed to run twenty five miles and stay on there at highway speeds on rough roads in Tennessee. <laughs> Contact Brian. <laughs> so this photo right here is my phone. Like, what was it two weeks ago? Yeah, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, Bill I'm leaves. I'm minding my own business, and Tommy's calling me. Hey, do you have Brian's phone? No, I would have Brian's phone. He left it in the truck. I stop. I look everywhere, and there's no phone in the truck. I get out, uh, walking around the truck. Here's a phone laying on the frame. And it literally made it like what, 20 miles? 20 miles. 20 miles. <laughs> Stayed right there. <laughs> I was really, I was really happy to know that it stayed there because that would have, uh, that would have. All the Louisville content was on that phone. Everything. Oh, that would have been bad. Yeah, it'd have been bad. But yeah, so uh, Luke's gonna put the amber lights in, and um, got a couple more watermelons to swap out yet. But uh, look at that. We got all our red lenses back here. Luke's gonna take these guys out and replace that. And put a watermelon there. Um, Get this thing dialed in, ready to go to Florida. So, uh, yeah, this thing's gonna look sharp down there. We done here yet, Luke? Oh, we're not done. You still gotta wrap the wires up. Yeah. I know what you need. That's not what you need, it's too big. Yeah, I know. You don't have any smaller. I do. See, this is what I have to deal with with your brother. I can't figure the guy out. I can't figure them out either. Hey, you, well, watch it. Come on. We're, we're trying to go. Let's what? go. Where are we going? We're trying to leave for Florida, man. Oh, we got a truck show to go to. Yeah. That's right. That's what we're doing. Dang it. I, felt, I totally forgot. So over here, I have some smaller. Um... That's too small. Hmm? So this is too small on the ground right here. No, I've got the good stuff somewhere. The good stuff. Yeah, I put it something well. Y'all can tell we kind of got a mess here. We've been, this is what happens when you get going really right here, right in front of me. Right there. There it is. Look. Oh, wow. Yeah, right right there. Oh, right in front of you. I can't believe you didn't see that. Look, it's right there. What is this? That's, the, that's what you need. Where you got? You got scissors? Yeah, in the toolbox. You got a knife? No, he needs, he needs scissors. Look, come on. Jeez. You should have one hanging over here. Look. You know what, kid? You, <laughs> you, you. What, what? What is it? What is it about parents you say to me as a kid? You're cruising for a bruising, son. Cruising for a bruising. Uh, I don't know. You'll have to find a razor blade knife or something. I got a razor blade here. Here, yeah. use that. 
Here you go. Right. You, are you expecting me to catch it? Well, I'm not gonna throw it. But there you go. Okay. I don't know what I'd do without you. That's our list of things to do this week. We've got all this to do on bottomless. And then uh like this. And we got all this. Well, only a little bit there. And we've got to do this on the green truck before we leave. So um you supposed to stay here and help us work, not go to Florida. No, you can ride with me down to Florida after I get done. Mm, no, I'm good. You're good. Mm. You're gonna you're gonna take the you're gonna take your fancy truck. Yep. You like your truck better than the green one? Mm. I'd be a little partial to it. I get it. That green truck's a nice truck. But. But that one. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Do you like it better, Fred? Now that we got all the amber and red lights on it instead of the clears. It does look good. So Luke's gonna wrap these wires back up, tie them together. And that was all we had to do. And uh, I guess you're gonna beat me to Florida, but I'll see you there in a couple of days. Yep. Work. All right, guys, that's it for this video. They're heading out with this setup. And uh, you know, by the time you're watching this, this thing's already on the interstate. Heading to Wildwood, Florida, the 75 Chrome Show. And uh, got a little bit more to do this thing tomorrow. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we're out of here uh, Tuesday morning. That's the game plan. And then we're going to Wildwood. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of what we've been doing in a nutshell. Video jumps around a bunch because we've just been going hard at it in the shop and sometimes forget to film things. But, you know, it happens. Anyway, make sure you like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram at Semi Casual Show, and uh, click the little bell button. You get notifications when we put on new videos up. And uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. We're trying to get to 100,000 here. We need your help. Only you can help us get to 100,000 viewers. So uh, I don't know. Hope you guys enjoy the video. And if you're going to be in Florida, well, we'll see you next week. Later.